Hey, hi, hello, my name's Wasabi, and today I wanna to talk about Resident Evil, but more importantly, why people need to do better. Th this is getting out of hand. I am so tired of seeing this every time I turn around on the internet and I see all these articles of, oh, this person did terrible, fans went crazy and started attacking the voice actor or actress. Why, why, w what's wrong with you? Go touch grass, it's not that serious, get over it. Because of Twitter, we get to talk with our favorite actors and actresses, we get to say, hi, how are you doing? Or we get to sit and say, hey, fuck you, your movie sucks, you know? We, we get that easy access, but I feel like people get lost in the sauce sometimes and realize that, hey, just because you can do it doesn't mean you should. You should be a little bit more, uh, I don't know, considerate and realize that these are actual people uh, on the internet and they actually do have real lives and they're not just uh, a face behind a video game character or a movie and they just get paid a whole bunch of money. So clearly I can talk shit about them all I want. Don't get me wrong. I get it. It's the internet, right? We all get to talk shit and that kind of comes with the territory. But at the same time, it doesn't just give you the right to be a, a straight up douchebag or an asshole and go tell someone, hey, go kill yourself. It would probably hurt your feelings. It would ruin your day. And that's how it is with these actors or actresses. They, they just do a job. They get paid to do it. And they're trying to do the best thing. Well, most of them, most of them, all right? I still don't think Chris Pratt's a great role for Mario, but I'll see when I watch the movie. But besides the point, more times than not, people just try and put their best foot forward. They try and give the best that they can and the material that they're given to work with. That's it. Past that, that's all in the director's fault. Whoever cast the people, they sound terrible. They sound off. The the way the lines are delivered, that's on the, the director. It's, it's their fault. Don't be complaining to the, the, the person that's doing the voice itself. You are putting your anger at the wrong fucking person. But at the same time, don't go to whoever the director is and start, you know, giving shit to them left and right. I'm getting off track. Anyway, the point I'm making this video is because I came across an article earlier today and it talked about how the voice actress for Resident Evil Ada Wong uh, for the new remake of Resident Evil 4, sh she deleted everything. She shut down, deactivated her social media accounts because people were giving her a lot of shit. So these are some of the comments that were there before she deactivated her account. You ruined the remake. I feel like I just wasted my money by buying a deluxe edition to get this VA to dub Ada. Great. Now when separate ways comes out, I have to put it on mute. Where's the voice acting I've heard in years? Why Capcom hired you instead of the past actors is beyond me. Your voice acting was horrible in the Resident Evil 4 remake. It sounded super stiff and there was nothing seductive about it. It didn't fit at all. Oh my fucking God. I hope they don't hire you as Ada's voice actor for another game. You're a professional voice actor and this is the performance you give? Sounded like you were hungover after taking a red eye flight when reading the lines. My God, people will really... They really did not like it. It's just like the situation that happened with The Last of Us 2 when it came out. If you remember that, it's very controversial. And Naughty Dog made a statement that said, Although we welcome critical discussion, we condemn any form of harassment or threats directed towards our team and cast. Their safety is our top priority. But we all must work together to root out this type of behavior and maintain a constructive and compassionate discourse. And then it was referring to later on the article, it was talking about how uh, voice actress Laura Bailey and she played Abby in The Last of Us 2. And yeah, uh, it just told you that right there. To reveal disturbing death threats received over the role. Yes, people take this shit very seriously. And I'm not going to spoil or say anything about the game. Because if you haven't played it yet, then I don't want to ruin it for you. But yes, that game was very controversial. Especially that character herself. So yeah, gamers really can get upset. I, I'll be honest, I haven't played the remake yet. I want to soon. But I was like, well, how bad could the voice work be? And I'm not gonna lie, it's it's something else, all right? Put your hands where I can see them. You can stop right there, Leon. Put them up now. Would it make me use this? Would you? You wouldn't want to make me use this, would you, Leon? Not a bad move. Very smooth. Not a bad move. Very smooth. So yeah, it's kind of something interesting, right? I, it's it's not bad. Well, okay, I'm gonna lie. It's not that great. I'm just gonna be honest. It's really not good. It's very flat. The audio isn't that great. It's very jarring, especially when you compare it to the original that just... I don't know, it gives me like, it just fits the tone of the game from everything that I've seen. I think one of the comments kind of described it best that I showed earlier talking about the seductive tone of the voice. I, I think that's really like a big part that's missing from Ada's uh, new voice actress. It doesn't really have that. But again, that could go down to direction. Whoever the director is, they didn't provide the direction. Maybe they didn't want Ada to sound like that. I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's just, it's missing something. I can't put my my tongue on it. I can't put my finger on it. I don't, I don't understand. I can't 
specifically say what is missing it's just that the delivery doesn't feel that great it just feels bland it's like when you get food and it's missing the seasoning that's the best way i can describe the voice but besides that even though it doesn't sound that great and i can understand why people are upset and at arms it doesn't give you the right to just be an asshole and make someone want to just you know quit the internet entirely it's just it's sad to see this because again it's not like they they choose to be I guess bad. It's more like they were given a role, they took it up, and that was it. Like if a voice director hit me up and was like, hey, you know what, Wasabi, I don't know. They said they'd be like, you know what, you got the voice of a star. And so they want me to be the voice of a, let's say a character that everyone beloves. And so I do it and then everyone hates it. Well, I'm like, hey, I got offered money and they thought I sounded great for their vision, so I did it. Is it my fault? I mean, you can sit there and I guess maybe say it's my fault because I took the money to do it. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's still the, the voice director, the, the person who actually does all the hiring, the one who sees the vision to get these people in and says, you know what? Your voice, you're the one. I, I see talent in you. And then I end up <laughs> being a stinker because the whole point is they're supposed to hear it. They see it. If it's the vision, cool. If it doesn't, then they say, you know what? You're not cut out for this. You're not the right pick. That can all still be fixed. Just because you cast someone does not mean, all right, well, they're stuck in there. We have to ride it through until the end, even though they suck. No, that's not really the case. They could have changed it out if they felt like she was not a good fit for it. At the end of the day, it is what it is. I already know people are probably going to make mods. If not, mods have already been made that replace her voice with the original voice actress. So I'm not surprised whenever that does happen. But again, this is not really something that I, I, I don't, I, I just don't understand why people get so up in arms about shit like this. I get it. You're passionate. You love the game. You like to see it get remade. But to go to the lengths of threatening someone and, and telling someone to, to kill themselves or to do a bunch of other bad things just because they were chosen to be uh, a voice actor actress for a character is a little extreme and you need to stop go outside call up your dad or your mom just tell them how much you love them maybe they'll brighten up your day anyways uh i'm gonna go watch john wick 3 or uh, john wick 4 that's about i got a couple couple minutes before i need to go watch that and i will leave you with this finale clip of ada uh compare and contrast voices for some more lines see you later oh leon you know i don't kiss and tell oh leon you know i don't work and tell don't think too hard handsome see you later don't think too hard handsome see you later